Hello, good morning. At Aurora West College Prep Academy, there's a unique vibe in the hallways. In this school, sixth graders mix with high school seniors, and for the most part, everyone gets along. That could have something to do with the positive culture the school leadership promotes. And it's certainly reinforced by school resource officer C.J. Renaud. How was your weekend? These high school kids, they're motivated, they're very articulate, they're very passionate, they're very respectful, which is wonderful to spend all day with them. That respect is mutual. She's a really good person and uh, I really like her being here. <laughs> Officer CJ is part of the Aurora Police Department. She says her specialized role gives her a way to truly help teens. And when the SRO function, you might have to arrest a kid. You might have to transport them home and give them a ticket or a summons. But more often than not, they come back and they go, hey, Officer CJ, I did great today. I went to class. I had, I've got all A's or I've got, I've got all D's and now I have all C's. It is fulfilling. You do know, they, because they, kids will come back and tell you that you helped them. Good morning. She's earned the trust of students, all while keeping them safe. That's job number one. I handle all the criminal related activity here in the building. And that's generally what passing period looks like. Yeah? Yeah. A little chaos. A little chaos. There is an order to it. And the kids are really good. They understand, okay, we have to be where we have to be. She not only patrols the halls, she's also involved in helping students navigate the tricky teen years with their self-esteem intact. Cortez has his days where he struggles, but he does the best he can. She's an authority figure, but still a peer. That takes special skill. Oh, where are you going to go to school? This is the 19th year Officer Reynad has been in law enforcement. She started with the Aurora Police Department in 1995 and has done a variety of roles before landing what she calls her most important assignment. See what kind of opportunity that, that leads. As a school resource officer for the past nine years, she's worked to change the image of what police do. They don't traditionally have good positive contact with police. When you start building it based on on a friendship and a foundation of trust well then they really start to open up to you and respect that they come and they sit down and they want to talk and they want to share things with you and they want to ask you questions and if they have concerns they bring them to you during the only few quiet moments during the day she takes time to reach out to our aurora community parents know they can count on her. This is Officer Renaud. I'm a really big stickler for returning phone calls and emails. When asked what would happen if your job didn't exist, Officer CJ was quick to respond. Her job allows other Aurora police officers to do theirs. The patrol function is the most important function this police department has. Without the SRO, then we lose the patrol function to the schools and then the community suffers. I want to be here every day. I want to take care. These are my kids. This is my school. This is my community. Have a great day. Someday soon, we'll see Officer CJ take on a new challenge. So my plan is hopefully one day to retire from here and become a principal. But for now, her dedication is clear. She commutes daily from Greeley to be with us here in Aurora. And a lot of kids will come and ask you, do you like your job? Do you love what you do? You don't drive 57 miles one way unless you love what you do. She's a great officer. Um, I'm really thankful that she's here and part of our school. Officer CJ, the work you do here is amazing. Thank you. And on behalf of Team Aurora, I'm honored to present oh to you <laughs> this MVP award. Aww. Congratulations. Aww. The images could be from a travel brochure, Colorado, pristine and nearly perfect. This serene location is Spinney Mountain Reservoir. In South Park, uh, about 13 miles east of Hartzell, Colorado. That's about two and a half hours from Aurora by car, but worth every second. This is a pretty amazing place. Beauty is only part of the bigger picture for this Colorado State Park in the shadows of the Collegiate Mountain Range. Well, if you see the snow off in the distance, that's next year's uh, water supply for the city of Aurora. Aurora Water owns and operates the reservoir, a key location for all of our water. A little over 90% of the water that goes to Aurora comes through this facility or one of our stream gauges. You can imagine that running a system like this takes skill and passion. It is a neat, neat place to live and work. 
And Aaron Griggs is the perfect person for the job. It might take a little extra time, but it's kind of a give and take for getting to live out here in such a pretty area and really just taking pride in the job. He's been the Spinney Mountain Reservoir Operations caretaker for the past seven years, full time every day. He and his family live here. Uh, on the house on the left, my partner Walter Shear lives in the other house. I take a lot of pride in, in what we do out here. But uh, it might be 4.30 and, and, you, and you go home, but you're always looking out the window at the reservoir. He's up for showing us why nearly every drop of water we use in Aurora is thanks to Spinney. This is where we measure the flow coming into Spinney. The South Platte River flows into Spinney Mountain Reservoir. There are 23 water gauges Aaron monitors regularly. The 90-foot dam allows Aurora water to collect and store water until it's needed. We release that water um, depending on the demand in the city. At that point, the water starts a five-day journey to the city of Aurora. Uh, we're in the lower level of the outlet work structure at Spinney Mountain Dam. It's an eight-foot diameter pipe. Aaron has a role at every step, inside the control area and outside to ensure safety. Uh, this is where we regulate the flow uh, out of the reservoir. Our primary responsibility and the, and the reason that we're here is uh, to operate the dam in a safe and efficient manner. With more than 56,000 acre feet of water in this dam, there is plenty to keep Aaron busy. But he and his two co-workers do a whole lot more. And I, I couldn't do this job without uh, Walter Shear and, and John Kent. Those guys are one of the main reasons I love my job. Together, they maintain all of the roads, service their vehicles, and even mingle with the wildlife when needed. Uh, you look out across the reservoir and, and 40 buffalo uh, broke down the fence, and so you got to go chase them out and, and fix fence. When asked what would happen if your job didn't exist, Aaron says it's very simple. Without the, the dedicated staff up here at, at Spinney, there just wouldn't be a reliable supply of water uh, coming to the city. You know, Aaron's a great leader. Um, he's got, you know, really good judgment because he's, he's so far away and he's got to make, you know, important decisions every day uh, that affect our operation. Want to learn more about our precious resource? Take a drive and meet Aaron. He and his family will be here. Just stop by and say hi. Bring your family up and there's endless outdoor recreation opportunities out here. It is beautiful. Aaron, the work you do here is awesome and it's so important for the city and on behalf of Team Aurora, I'm honored to present you with this MVP award. Hey, thank Congratulations, you. man. Thanks. We see them everywhere, every day. Along streets, in parking lots, on each corner in Aurora. Ever wonder who makes them or who maintains them? Welcome to the City of Aurora's Sign Shop, part of the city's Traffic Operations Department. It's also one of our best kept secrets. Each year, between five and 6,000 signs are repaired or created in this room, then sent out to the streets. Kebede Hele, his friends call him Kay, is responsible for making sure every sign is perfect. It's a job he's proud to do. Every day, today even, I create a new thing. Always you learn new. Whatever you do, when you see it and you put it on the street, you like it. Kay has had a very interesting and international life. Originally, I was born in Ethiopia and raised. After that, I moved in different countries, Italy, Russia, and Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Israel. The final one, 1999, I just came to the United States. 15 years ago, he and his family made their dream come true. The United States, specifically Aurora, became their new home. It's not our second home. We see like our first home. We got a lot of privilege in the United States. His career with the city of Aurora started as a maintenance worker within the public works department. He's been on the move ever since. I came a senior maintenance worker, traffic sign specialist, again, senior traffic sign specialist. I moved up three times. Even to love this job, to love this country, makes it more encouragement. He's now the senior traffic sign specialist, and it's clear why his skill and passion make all of our lives safer. Whatever you see in the daytime, clear, 
you have to see in the night the same thing. Thanks to Kay, all of our city traffic signs follow the Federal Highway Administration guidelines. Simply put, he makes sure we can all see the important information. Each alphabet space, all these got a factor when the people see from the ground and far away. Letter size, reflection, spacing, all matter. Not only just printing, you need to consider all this stuff. Is that okay if I create this one? All the people that can't see it. When asked what would happen if your job didn't exist, Kay says his job not only makes our city safer, it saves money by avoiding the need to hire contractors to make every sign. Because until you have a street and people that drive on the street, you have to have this thing. They're saving a lot of money for the city. The money they're saving, they're going to use for different departments, whatever, something. So be sure to keep an eye out for Kay's artwork. He's bound to be in your neighborhood soon, adding a bit of city shine. Whatever you do, you put it outside of the street, everybody can look at it. That makes me more encouraging. It makes me love the city job. Kay, you do such amazing work here, and we're Thank so proud much. of you, and the work that you do here is so important for the city. Thank you so much. And on behalf of Team Aurora, I'm honored to pre present you with this MVP award. Thank you so much. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you so much. Thank you.